just gonna there's the door it's old and it's dark Ooh, it's good for halloween put all the items I list in here, and then I take them downstairs to my oh, basement. My basement, oh. yeah, I should take you guys down there. I forgot about that. I haven't even shown you my basement. It's finally set up with all my inventory. So when I list things, I put in that basket, I take it down to the basement, I put them in the right spot. And when I sell something, I go down there and grab the items. So let's do that. Let's go do a basement tour. Guys, okay, I'll walk out my door. And this is a duplex, so the other people live up there, upstairs, upstairs. And then this is the door that we share, but they never go downstairs that I see. Just kind of, there's the door. It's old and it's dark. Ooh, it's good for Halloween. But you turn the light on and it's all good. I'll just take you guys down with me. Hopefully the lighting will be good. It looks like my phone just kicked on its flash. I don't want to show you the mess over here. That's just a pile of my personal stuff. Okay, guys. So these are all plush. And I got these at Walmart. They're just laundry baskets. So that's all plush. I've not been selling plush very well. So uh, very often. So this is belts and ties bras this is mostly sheets tablecloths curtains that kind of thing miscellaneous i just kind of put down here yeah okay so this is my table it's a mess you guys i have dirt floors so it's really i'm very careful because i've dropped stuffed animals before and they get in the dirt then i have to wash them so I'm really careful with everything that I don't drop it. You know, the, it wouldn't be so bad with the clothes because they've got plastic, but I wish it didn't have dirt floor. And I started sweeping it. It was just more dirt. It was, it was like, it wasn't worth it. All right. These are like kids clothes. I rarely sell kids clothes. They just sit and sit. So I'm thinking about maybe delisting them at some point. All right, so here's the bins. Most of my numbers I got on either Amazon. Looks like pieces of lint in front of my camera. I don't know what that was, dust? Anyway, the letters on the bins, like that, I either got from Amazon or if they look a little different, I got them from Dollar Tree. Ooh, let's put that back. Anyway, try to put lids on them or just loosely on top. Yeah, that that number there that was from Dollar Tree and 12's down there. You guys get the idea. Chronological, of course. And then try to get all the same bins, but I do have some that are a little different. Okay, so this is kind of miscellaneous. It's mostly purses, but I put some other things there. This is for when, these are my hats. These are when I have to take my hats out to look for a particular hat. Like let's say it's on the bottom there. I know it's not ideal, but this is the way I do my caps and hats. And this is just plastic to put over it to protect it. One of my hats I'm selling, I have this, these are blankets. On my blankets, it's a sleeping bag. See there, and that works for that. This is pillows. See, I got some pillows and purses. My purse. Yeah, and these are just laundry baskets I've mostly got from Walmart or a thrift store. These are mostly 
purses or tote bags. See, there's like totes and then got another pillow. This is my golf clubs, my posters, anything that needs to be standing upright. All the tennis rackets I have. Sold a few, but still some to sell. This I just listed was a food processor I got out of storage, don't need. These are just big items. Like I have a horse, a stuffed horse, and just big items. Um, what do I have here? Oh, those are games. I got these big totes from Target when I was packing everything up to move. They were like 10 bucks or nine bucks. I got like four of them, G1, G2. I don't know if I have the label, but I know all my games go in the big ones. And then I have one for pictures. Those big totes are great. And then I'm trying to get uniform totes. I got several, but I just haven't gotten the rest. They ran out at Walmart. Okay, so I got lots of them there. These are my hard goods, as you can see. Then I have, I have this metal shelving unit. So I got the A, B, D, C, D, E, F, G, H. There's like a high pitch sound in here. I don't know what that's from. Now, I use that for putting my totes on when I'm grabbing stuff out or putting stuff in. And it's so nice they're see-through. I totally recommend you guys get see-through bins because, you know, like let's say I sold that. Oh, I could see that, you know, <laughs> or I'm looking for something. It's... It's awesome. I used to have like totes that were the opaque ones like this. You can't see through them. And I would never go back to those for the hard goods. And then this is just a mi miscellaneous 1A. I label these big bins which just have miscellaneous stuff in it. Oh, and then continue on L, M, and N. And that's all for the hard goods, but give you guys kind of idea. Look at the cobwebs. I've not uh, cleaned that out. <laughs> I need to, I need to take a broom. I just ignore them. But look at this, you guys, all this dirt. It's crazy. I've never been in a basement like this. Thank God it's wired for electricity. So you got the light there. Ooh, I don't even try to look above me. It's kind of gross. It's all rock and dirt. Thank God they put cement down here. Uh, that's, I'll take you guys for the basement. That's the window to the window. There's only one window in here. That's the neighbor stuff. And then the lady previous left of that, we're probably gonna use it at some point. I need to ask our current neighbors what they have down here. Because whatever's left, I'll, maybe we could sell some of it. Okay, this was not my stuff. This was the previous neighbors. Ooh, yeah, that needs to be fixed. That was all theirs. But these are my shoes. It's not ideal. But I label them what they are. I kind of, uh, that was on the other side. Anyway, I kind of put them all depending on the type of shoe it is. See, it got dirty, guys. So I'm, I'm gonna have to clean that. But like loafers and oxfords, sneakers, tennis shoes, sandals, high heels. That's how I kind of have them situated right now. Yeah, it would be nice to have a shoe rack. And I used to have the light on in here, but it got turned off and I actually don't even know how to turn it on. It's kind of creepy. Ah. <laughs> you know, watch where I step. This is just stuff I put over here because it was in my way for my inventory. That's the only window. This is like a little dungeon room. I don't, I don't want to be in here. I could if I wanted to. It's really cool. It's, like I said, the neighbors don't use down here. So they have like one or two things down here. So it's pretty much my basement. And, you know, like things got left. None of this is mine. That's not mine either. This is all theirs. Ugh, I feel cobweb yuck. That's my stool. But like this stuff is not mine. That's not mine. I think the woman is here previous. She left a lot of stuff. I heard she left like tires and the 
the backyard has a shed that we share with the upstairs neighbor and they said that the previous owner left like some brand new tires we need to be going through that shed we haven't done that yet these are my ebay boxes you guys i have boxes in my office but this like overflow boxes like bigger boxes so it's kind of a mess right now because when i'm bringing things out of storage see cindy's office <laughs> i bring the boxes down here and i gotta kind of have too much right now this is my mess you guys i'm sorry these are some of the things i sell my jackets uh, it's kind of a mess here but this bench you can't really see it much but that was here and that was actually in this room so i moved it and i just stacked a whole bunch of our personal stuff on top of it and it got to be a mess because i kept adding to it so at some point i will organize this but we are we have this as storage and then we also have two storage rooms um about three minutes from here so this is the basement, you guys. So it's got like one, two, three, four rooms. You got one main room, and they got one the room there, the room there, the room here. Well, this kind of all one room back there, actually. And then this is just overflow. So that is my inventory. Let me turn around and show you guys. Oh. Otherwise, I gotta go turn off the light. <laughs> Try not to leave these lights on. Yeah, this is just my table for when I bring a tote down to look through, and I just have uh, numbers there and miscellaneous. So, um, and then that light will go off when I turn this switch off up here. So, that is my inventory set up. And um, this is John's clothes. He's got in this room. That's my front door. I don't really show you guys this place much at all. That's is that a pretty window. And that one. And that's our front door. That's John's down the car over there. The street in my car. And it's our hall tree. Front door. It's not that great. Oh, that's my things. Oops, things I have to ship. I sold a broken computer. I took 25 on it. I just want to get rid of it. And that was a sweater that I paid nothing for. The neighbor gave it to me. This is my setup for eating every day. Got to go through those boxes. It's like a bookcase. The blinds are kind of broken, but we leave it up a little for the cats. And that's our chair and our bookcase. So we've kind of pretty much got it all decorated. This I got on eBay. It's kind of dirty. I gotta clean it. It's for the cats. TV. That's the cat. Oh, they love being there right in front of the window. Um, Bathroom, nothing exciting. Typical bathroom, no shower. Laundry room, which is awesome. Little area. And the laundry room is between a rock and a hard place do I work hard or live in my pace wash your dry one yeah that's all great I but I also want to teach you why I'm okay living life is doing lots of cocaine wait no it's living with no shame wait no it's living in a Sunday I guess it's different and that is that well I just want